Well, Tom had had in the past multiple surgeries on his knee, so he'd already had a lot of problems and had some pretty advanced degenerative arthritis when he came to see me. The injury was from old high school football days, so I've had it most of my life. It was a cartilage damage initially, and it was back during the days of the old scalpel and they cut on you. And was in the landscape business for 15 years, so I did a lot of walking. So over time, the knee just basically wore out. So of course we tried to treat him conservatively from the onset. However, his arthritic disease progressed, subsequently leading to the decision of whether he wanted a total knee replacement or not. It got to the point where it was bone on bone and the pain was getting to the point where I was having to take a lot of ibuprofens quite a bit then went to the cortisone shots and eventually that didn't help and that was when I decided to go on and, and make the, uh, the plunge into uh, the total knee replacement. I use the Vision Air system because of the patient specific nature of it. This is what we call a patient matched system. In real simple terms, we do a nine minute MRI which is not a diagnostic MRI, but it's used to create a 3D image of the patient's knee. These images are sent to Memphis, where Smith & Nephew is based, and the engineers there then work with these images and create a 3D image of the knee and then these patient-specific blocks, and they actually fit around the bone spurs for that particular patient and it makes the procedure much simpler in my hands. The day of the surgery, it's just like clockwork. They go and the procedure's handled. Next thing you know, you're waking up in your room and you're on your way to recovery. <laughs> the benefit that I see for the patient is that the sizing is much more accurate. The surgical procedure is shorter. And the patients after our surgery, within couple hours of their surgery, they're up walking. Things that I was doing in the past, I, I could go out and mow my yard and immediately come in and start having to take ibuprofen, knowing that the pain was coming. Uh, I don't do that now. I mean, it, it, I mow my yard on a regular basis now, I come back in, there's no pain. The pain that was there when I did long walks is not there anymore. I mean, that's gone away. I'm up and, up and going. <laughs>